Hello everyone. And now I'm going to show you how to do parametric sweep in Orchid Capture. So here we have constructed a simple circuit with a DC voltage of 10 volts and a resistance and with ground. So I want to vary this value of the resistor and see how the current in the circuit changes with the varying resistor. For observing how the current changes with the changing resistance value, we need to do parametric sweep. So we, we hit P in the keyboard and type param. So from a special library, we see the param and we hit enter and place it in the circuit and double click on it. So we need to add a new parameter in this model. So we hit new property and type the name of the parameter R verse. And we set an arbitrary value, say 1K. It is not the important and click apply. We can see that R word is here. So we don't need this anymore. So we hit cancel. And we, if we go back to our circuit, you can see that the parameter has, is not showing R bar. So we go back to parameter and right click on it and click on display. So if we select name only or name on and value, then we will be able to see R bar there. So I select name only and hit OK. And you can see the R bar is here. And now we have to include R bar in the value of this distance. So I after double clicking, I type curly braces and type R bar and close the brace and hit OK. The curly braces is important here. So now we have to create a new simulation profile. Say parametric one. Hit OK. After hitting enter, we can see that the simulation settings is open and we select DC sweep and sweep under sweep variable, we select global parameter. And now we type the name of the parameter here it is R bar. Please notice that the curly braces is not used here. And we type the start and end value of the resistance say we want to uh, sweep from 10 ohm to 100 ohm with 10 ohm input so we get 10 values like 10 20 30 all the way to 100 ohms we hit okay and now we put a current marker here and so mode and we hit run simulation so here we can see that as the resistance is changing from 10 to 100 ohms, we get a plot of the current that is decreasing. As we know that uh, with increasing resistance, the current in the circuit decreases. So um, it, the simulation is giving us the correct results. So what if, what if we want to work with AC circuits like this? Here, this is a V sine source with one volt amplitude and one kilohertz frequency. So we we are trying to vary this resistance here and uh, trying to plot the current waveform with varying time. So we uh, with changing resistance, the current will decrease and we will get different sine waves. So how to achieve this? So we click new simulation profile and say parametric uh, two. So in the simulation settings, we uh, we don't select DC sweep, we select time domain transient. And under general settings, we want to uh, see at least five cycle of the output. Since the frequency is 1K, so we, hit, we type five millisecond, so five M would run up. And, and we select this parametric sweep here and uh, select global parameter. And the parameter name, this is similar to previous one. We do R word few and the start value and end value as before uh, hit okay so everything is similar as before see uh, on, it's only a uh, ac voltage source is here so uh, we have to put a current marker here and mode and run see so uh, this is the previous plot and uh, for the next simulation, we have got this sweep values, sweep outputs. So if we hit OK, we can see that 
we uh, uh, we are seeing different current waveforms for different resistance values. So how do we know that which resistance value corresponds to which current waveform? So, uh, suppose we want to know the current the resistance value for this waveform. So uh, after selecting this, you will see white dots and right click and we go to trace information. So you can see that the for R bar two equal to 10 ohms, uh, we get this green waveform. Uh, alternatively, you can select one from here. You, you see these tiny markers here. Let's say we want to see this circle marked waveforms resistance value. So we find this circle here and double click on it. So we can see that for 50 ohms, we get this circle circle marked waveform. It's okay. So thus you can do uh, transient simulation as well as two parametric sweep of any variables and see the output changes. So what if we want to do parametric sweep inside another parametric sweep? So here we can see a simple BZT circuit. We want to achieve the BCE and IC, that is IC versus BC plot and how it how the plot changes with different values of IB. So to, for doing this, uh, we need to do double parametric sweep or nested sweep. So we have uh, introduced two parameters, V bar and I bar. So we will set it here. Uh, we set it to V bar and we will set the current source to I bar. So let's uh, set an insulation profile. So it is two. So in the simulation settings, we first go to DC sweep, and first to we need to uh, sweep V bar. So uh, do not select it as a voltage. So select it as a global parameter. Uh, type the name V bar, and we want to set it to zero to ten volts. That's 0 0.1 volt increment, and under secondary sweep. Secondary sweep, we set the global parameter I bar. We start value to 0 to 1 milliamps as 0 0.2 milliamps step size. So we, we hit OK and place a current marker here. Run the simulation. So we have uh, we have got this plot for each line. Each curve uh, it represents a different value of I bar or the base current. Since in the uh, in the secondary sweep we have select I bar, so first it uh, changes the value of VCE or V bar and plots the uh, plots the collector current, and then it changes the uh, base current and does another simulation so i think you get the idea of secondary sweep here uh, and thus you can do nested parametric sweep or nested sweep thanks for watching